So today is a typical day's filming for one of our videos. Well, actually two of our videos we've got to film today for the Average Golfer channel. And I thought I'd bring you along for the day and let you know what goes on behind the scenes in putting these videos together. And although it's the morning of the filming itself, the actual organizing and planning of the day starts a lot earlier than this. So generally the planning for the videos will start the week previous and it starts in here in putting together what you'd call, I don't know, some kind of script and I don't mean a script by kind of lines that we learn, more of I suppose a structure to the video and once we've put that together and we generally sort of plan three different videos, we've then got the structure in place, my bit's done or our bit's done because it's very much a team effort this part but then it's over to Hannah and she starts her bit of the work. So then at this point, it's now my job to do all the research behind the video and that differs week to week depending on what the video is about. Uh, for example, this week we're doing a video on seven hybrids. So I'm looking at what brands produce them, what they're priced at, just to give the viewers um, a better idea if they want to buy one themselves. And then especially this time of year is when we get all the new products. So it's looking at spec sheets and again, gathering as much information as we can before we then move on to the next job. So then once I finish the research, I come into here, set up the camera, the lights, the backdrop, and we do our own product photography. Um, it's quite time consuming, but we feel like it adds quite a lot to the video. And I always know I've done a good job when someone comments thinking that the video is sponsored, but they never actually are. Uh, for example, here we're trying to show the difference between a 7 hybrid and a 7 wood. And once this is all done, we're ready to pack up and finally start hitting some golf balls. The day starts with Trackman getting switched on and we start to collect data which can be a, a long process. Today we're testing four different clubs and that's where all the energy off screen is spent for the first probably couple of hours because if we're going to review a club and do some comparisons we need to make sure that data is all good that we can relate here. So it's Trackman on, computer on and then hitting quite a few golf balls and work up a sweat. Now all those shots have been hit and all that data has been gathered but the key point now is for me to spend time understanding that data, interpreting it and making sure that I relay it back to you so that we've got a full understanding of what it is that we're trying to achieve, what separates one club from another and make use of this data in the way it's intended. So while the data is being collected, it's then my job to get all the clips that we've filmed from the morning and start separating them up. Because normally we film about three videos a day, it can get really confusing, there's that much footage. So I sit down, start separating them before we even think about editing anything. So if ever you see me sitting at the back of the room and you wonder what I'm doing, now you know. So I don't ever feel like dry ball data is enough in itself. So for my club testing, we always like to then get out on the golf course take those course out into reality and uh, just see how they really perform without the kind of comfort of no out of bounds no trees them kind of things it can often be quite different before we start to give and formulate an opinion on a golf club and of course for those of you who watch the channel quite regularly you'll know in recent weeks it's been uh, our little van is coming into its own and we like the bit of a tea break in between so for now it's 15 minute break 
steak and butter and a coffee. We'll get back out there on that golf course. Now, once we're out on the course, just the same as I said earlier, we're testing four different clubs today. And it's no use having dry ball data for four clubs, but then not have an opinion of them out on the course. So we do exactly the same when we get out on the course. I will play all four clubs, keep rotating them round so we can get a fair opinion. And like I said, build that assessment for our final summary. I'm starting to like this one. So you would think that that was it and we would hope that we'd have what would be a really good video but there's still one major part to play in what makes the video a success or a failure. Yeah, Hannah's right. It's, um, to be honest with you, it's been a bit of a, one of the main learning curves over the last, certainly the last year or so. And it's a couple of things that I don't think the audience is particularly keen on and that's clickbait titles and the thumbnail. And we spend so long now on trying to get those two things right. And when I say right, we don't want to make a title that is so clickbait that it does annoy everybody, but we also need to try and create a title that drags people in. And it's really difficult finding a balance. And honestly, we spend so long now so long. debating A, the title, and then B, like I said, that thumbnail, because again, that thumbnail is a bit that is majorly important in engaging you as an audience to, to encourage you to try and come and watch the video, because you can have the best video in the world. But as we're learning, unless the thumbnail and the title are good and enticing, then it doesn't matter what is behind there because you as viewers, you just don't click on. So it's finding the balance. And I think, like I said, it's an important thing for you to understand that we're never trying to trick anybody. The clickbait thing, I understand the annoyance it can be at times. Um, it's almost like it's kind of like a tabloid newspaper headline. And you've just got to be careful with sort of how far you go. But in terms of trying to have a little bit of creativity around them, and draw people in. I'm afraid it's something that we've had to participate in more yeah. and more over the last year. And it does work, to be honest with you. That's the sad part about it, is we've noticed our views go up considerably when we've got what is considered a better thumbnail and a better title. Anything else you want to add to our behind the scenes role? I think that's it. No, ask no. for a pay rise? That would be nice. So uh, yeah, we, um, we just thought it'd be an interesting video to show you, like I said, what goes into it. It's certainly, um, well, maybe not as straightforward as it, you sometimes perhaps think. I know when I used to watch videos, I didn't realize quite what went into making them. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as ever, we're always grateful for you to watch in. And the comments and the kind of encouragement with likes and things like that make all the effort worthwhile as well. So keep on coming with all that kind of um, positivity, let's say. Right, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy today's video. If you're not a subscriber already, then uh, again, please consider doing so. And we will both see you soon. Just burnt the toast, man. Are you filming that? Yeah. And before the end of the day, they always manage to squeeze in a nap. <laughs>